What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to Dynamics. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So we're given a car that has a speed of 15 meters per second, and it's traveling in the circular motion, and its radius is 400 meters. Our goal is to find the angular velocity uh, theta dot. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using um, transverse and radial components to solve this question. So here we got velocity in terms of radial components and transverse components, right? Uh, I think that's the name of it. I'm going to double check. Transverse and radial. Yeah, so this is transverse, this is radial, right? So we're trying to find the angular velocity, and this is the radial component of the velocity. So our velocity can basically be broken up into two parts, right? The radial component, or the transverse component, and the radial component. So the reason we need this is because theta dot is part of the radial component of this velocity here. So let's go ahead and flip that up, right? So we have these two equations, and uh, the magnitude of the velocity is equal to velocity, the radial or the transverse component squared, plus the radial component squared. And we know the magnitude of the velocity is 15 meters a second. So we can go ahead and put the 15 there, is equal to the square root of the radial component squared, or the transverse component squared, plus the radial component squared. So how about this? So let's plug in these. So it's going to be r dot squared plus r theta dot squared. So we have this equation here. Let's get rid of that square root by square root, or the square root of 15. And let's figure out what these are, right? So r dot is r dot, right? That's the time derivative of the radius. That being said, though, our radius is just equal to 400 meters. We take the derivative of 400, we get zero. That's because the radius isn't changing. So the change of radius is going to be zero. So we can plug in a zero right there. So then here, we have now radius is 400, and then theta dot, right? We haven't solved for that yet. So now we're here. Um, how are we going to solve this, right? Well, let's uh, let's square it both sides, or let's simplify this. We have 15 is equal to, or 15 squared is equal to 400 theta dot squared. We can just go ahead and just take the square root of both sides to get rid of that, and so then we get 15 is equal to 400 theta dot. And then now we just have to, to, to divide by 400, and you're going to get that theta dot that's equal to 0 0.0375 radians per second. Right? Pretty simple question, right? Just by knowing your equations and knowing what equations to use and knowing what each one of these mean, right? So if you're having any tr trouble with that, uh, feel free to check out the rest of my videos in my playlist. Uh, I'm going to have a whole lot more stuff going on in these kind of problems. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.